an interesting development that I've been glued to my phone about and something I've kind of thought about for a while, but I've kind of never really had the need to talk about it because I feel like, you know, chatting about girls' business is a bit, it's a bit cuck. But, you know, we're living in COVID times. There really is nothing else to talk about, unfortunately. Um, it's the same old topics coming up again and again and again. And, you know, I don't really think I'm in a place to sit down here and start talking to you about, you know, the effectiveness of this sort of treatment and why different governments are doing a bad job at COVID. So let's get messy. Let's talk about all the nonsense online. And this is prime nonsense. So as you guys are aware, Megan Thee Stallion was involved in a um a fortunate incident let's say what maybe a few weeks ago where it was alleged she was shot in both feet during an altercation with Tory Lanez allegedly right um before that we saw a video of Megan Thee Stallion and Kylie Jenner and Tory Lanez lounging around in Kylie Jenner's recently bought mansion that looks bloody amazing having a great time and everyone was sitting there thinking oh my god FOMO I wish I was Megan Thee Stallion she's got so many cool friends and then fast forward you see a video of Megan Thee Stallion it appears to be her anyway um limping out of the car her feet are uh, clearly bleeding um being asked by the police to get on the floor with Tory Lanez we doing the same thing and then you know no kind of information comes out of it after the fact but we are led to believe that they got into some sort of argument shots were let off and Megan Thee Stallion's feet were injured so with that being said um there's been no other update really we've been in complete dark about the situation uh but Megan Stanley can maintains that she was get she did get shot in both feet uh Tory Lane's career has admittedly or you know been put on hold for the most part um a couple of radio stations no not radio stations a couple of artists have come out and said they're not going to put play his music anymore Kailani I think was maybe the most prominent one saying that she took him off her deluxe album um you know but it seems as if like the industry has effectively cancelled him because Megan and Stallion is a bit of an uh of an angel of this is not angel she, she's probably the favorite of the industry in hip-hop now at the moment right universally liked um doesn't really have that many enemies i think apart from maybe the guy she had beef with in a record label apart from that everyone seems to like her or maybe that new girl they signed because i think she left her original record label due to that kind of contract dispute that they had and then they re-signed some new girl who kind of is a copy of Megan Thee Stallion and she seems to have a lot of choice words to say about her but you know you can understand that she has to, she has her loyalty with that record label so she has to fight for the team but for the most part everyone loves her uh, Tory Lanez even though he had a really good year with um, Quarantine Radio it feels like as soon as you do anything like this concerning women admittedly so or uh, you know I agree with that you should probably be cancelled if you're involved in any kind of dispute with a woman that requires you to pull out a gun on them you know it does really mean your career should be over in that regard or you know in the conventional sense maybe you got so your own hardcore fans that might come to a show but in terms of being accepted in the industry it's no surprise that you know the industry might kind of turn their heads away from you but what we have seen is that this is not the case because i think these are the three entities in kylie jenner in megan the stallion and tory lanes who have probably um kind of gone against that hypothesis that i kind of laid out earlier where there's so much invo money involved in all three of these people individually with corporations and brands that are lining up to sponsor them, to back them up in what they're doing, to give them a platform, to sell their music, sell their fashion, um, give their opinion on culture. There's so much money involved writing the situation that I think each of, these each, of the, each of the money people involved is slowly but surely pulling the strings behind the scenes, quieting down certain stories and not allowing the truth to come out. Now, it could be the fact that Megan Thee Stallion just doesn't want to speak about it, right? She had went through a really uh, tumultuous experience. She doesn't want to relive it. She's abiding by some sort of street code and she doesn't want to snitch on Tory Lanez. But her reluctance to talk about the issue, her reluctance to really describe into detail what actually happened or to give us some sort of definitive conclusion on the situation is allowing people online who have nothing else better to do during COVID than to sit around on their phone to speculate. So it's really a misstep on her side and her team side because if ever there was a time where you had to nip drama in a bud or yeah, you had to nip drama in a bun and really just kind of, you know, put a full stop at the end of it, it was this time, right? You really have to come out in front of issues, speak about them plainly and get them out of the way. Similar to what Jada and Will Smith done with the whole August Our Senior thing. At the time, it seemed pretty silly, but now, are you thinking about it? Have you ever thought about entanglement, the world anymore? Do you give a shit? Have you ever watched the interview? No, right? They came out, kind of dealt with it in a way that they could do it and moved on. You can't let these stories rumble on because people are only going to create more false narratives, only going to start digging 
digging up and looking into um you know uh other stories connecting things that have not been connected and just maybe um air out more dirty laundry than you really need to be aired out so in this situation i think megan Stallion made an error she should have just came out in the meet in the, immediately from the beginning and just said hey here's what happened i'm not gonna name any names but I was involved in an argument with this person about, about it and whatever it may be and then just put it to bed but the fact that she had mentioned it let people to speculate about the video what with Cardi B because Kylie Jenner was in it then we see images of Cardi B and Kylie Jenner backstage we don't see any images of Megan Thee Stallion and Kylie which leads people to believe that they did have a falling out because the alleged um, argument stemmed from supposedly Megan Stallion being drunk and feeling as if Kylie Jenner was trying to hit on Tory and that's what basically started the argument and blah blah blah, blah. but you know and even in this story even we haven't even heard Kylie Jenner's name even mentioned anywhere in it so you know the power of these brands these corporations that are behind some of these people where they can just immediately just retract someone's um, part in the story even when they paid the integral part in it right so the development we have now is that Megan Thee Stallion finally decided to update everybody and kind of put some rumors to bed because I guess um, people were uh, upset that she was, or people were questioning why she was out partying in Atlanta, uh, celebrating the number one record with her and Cardi B, which some people are also speculating was not really an organic number one, maybe involved with some payola there. But you know, you can understand. Like, I'm not really that bothered about the, if that number one is real or not. I think with the money involved with Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, there was no way they were going to make a video with that amount of production level or with that amount of production with that amount of budget for the music video and not try and make it a number one and have that be the whole um end goal of the whole marketing scheme they had to do whatever they had to do to make that work so Megan the silence obviously seeing these comments of people talking about her being in a club and saying hey if you got shot on both feet why are you in the club why are you smoking hookah why are you drinking and um, she responded and basically updated everybody with this image on Instagram, which she posted and deleted, which I'm not sure how you can read into that. Should you read into it that she feels guilty? Did she feel like she didn't need to explain herself? Did her management tell her to pull it down? Uh, did Instagram take it down because it's a bit of a graphic image? So, you know, I'm just giving a heads up regardless, but who knows? But she had posted it and deleted it anyway. That's what we do know. So this is from Hollywood Unlocked who reposted it. It said, warning graphic, as you can see, that's Megan Thee Stallion's foot with some obvious stitching there and some other maybe marks of stitching. I'm not too sure, but the caption says the following. Most important bit, it says, LOL, what I've learned about the majority of the people on social media is y'all like to hear bad news before you hear good. And uh, a lie spreads quicker than the truth and y'all really believe that shit y'all make up. I got hit at the back of my feet because I got shot as I was walking away facing the back. Why would I lie about getting shot? Why are y'all so upset that I don't want to be in bed sad? Why are y'all upset that I can walk? I got my stitches out of my feet two weeks ago. I was ready to go celebrate work going number one. I usually don't address internet bullshit, but y'all people are so sick. God was really watching over me and I'm healing really well. Sorry, I'm not as sad and miserable as you lot, but LOL, I'm going to keep being Megan the, the effing stallion. Which, you know, is a fair enough statement, but I guess... The issue isn't really that she's in the club uh, dancing around and having fun. I think you're allowed to do that. No one's denying that. It's just the way that she described it, being shot in both feet, this just doesn't matter, match up, right? And I was always dubious from the beginning anyway. It didn't really seem like somebody that... When someone gets shot in both feet, it's very difficult to believe that nothing hit the bone, nothing hit like a really fleshy part and caused a lot of muscle damage, you know? Um, and you'd know, having, having had plantar fasciitis, right, which is an inflammation on the bottom of your foot. So, so sometimes between sports or the lack of mobility in your ankle, um, you know how much that hurts where you can hardly walk, right? So let alone go to a nightclub. So I can imagine that if you got shot in your foot, the pain alone would be too much for you to even to go, you know, walk around places. Let, you, prob you could probably go and have a drink, but you can't stand up. You maybe have to get wheeled around in a wheelchair or something like that, that like. So for us to be going around in a club, hanging out, standing up on the table, on chairs and shit, it just seemed a bit odd. Don't get me wrong. But again, who knows? Maybe she was fortunate and God was looking over her and the bullet passed directly through her feet, past any kind of bone or, you know, ma major muscle parts and just kind of carried on this merry go way. But I think looking at the wound, it does look like she maybe got hit with some shrapnel uh maybe uh a ricochet of a bullet 
and 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 it puts and it kind of puts in doubt her definition of being shot in the foot because she made it seem as if whoever shot her pointed the gun directly at her feet as she was running away or walking away bang 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 and shot her directly in her feet when maybe she the gun was shot to the ground and it bullet ricocheted or the person was towing it around threatening her or something but it just doesn't seem like she was directly shot in the foot directly which again unfortunately is a lie isn't it and the concerning thing about Megan Thee Stallion is that we've seen a bit of a trend in Megan Thee Stallion where she tends to omit certain parts of the story to fit her narrative, right? We saw that happening with a record label dispute where she essentially uh, tried to publicly blackmail her record label to reneging on a deal and allowing her to walk away from the deal that she signed, uh, citing that she was hoodwinked and, you know, uh, they manipulated her because she was young and didn't know anything. When, at the start, when that story broke, I was kind of dubious. I was thinking, hold on, aren't you meant to be this, like, smart college girl person, right? Shouldn't you have had somebody read over your contract? If not, if that's not the case, don't get me wrong, um from what it seemed like when the guy came out and gave details about the contract, it did seem like a pretty standard record label contract, right? A bit of a shit one, a 360 deal, but a pretty regular standard contract. But I guess with Megan Stallion, because she blew up really quickly in terms of the public eye and her to be like a global star, of course, she's got started talking to people and she's re quickly realized via talking to people in the industry that, oh, there's a lot more money she's living on the table by signing a deal, that, by being on the deal she's currently on. So naturally, she'd want to maybe re- uh, take another look at that deal right uh, readdress it renegotiate in some way shape or form but of course the record label has under no obligation to do so why should they renegotiate if you sign knowingly this contract for these terms it's not within their it's not in their interest to do so so for them for her to come out and publicly blackmail them and make it seem as if they hoodwinked her and you know uh she gave them her trust because they were fellow black people coming up in the scene and they were underground and she wanted to do them a favor and blah 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 she was promised the world it really was a it, it, it did leave a bit of a bad taste in the mouth and that again was another instance of her maybe having the truth of the matter in one hand, but then kind of purposely omitting some parts for it to fit whatever else story she had in the other hand. And I think the same is occurring here. Now, we can say definitively Megan Stallion was hurt. We know that. We've seen the pictures. She's obviously injured. She's obviously in a lot of pain. She obviously went through a lot of stuff. Seen the videos she's talking about. You can see somebody that's obviously going through a lot of things. But to suggest that she was actually shot directly from a gun to her feet, in both feet, but then she's okay enough to go to a club two weeks later doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. It doesn't add up to me. And again, it makes me wonder, why would there be a need for her to sell the story of her getting shot in the foot when the actual story is bad enough as it is? If you would have said, hey, I got involved in an argument with this guy. Um, I'm not going to say who his name is because I don't want to get him in trouble because he's on, you know, whatever. He's got a case on him, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, in this instance, here's what basically happened. I was really scared. Thank God it wasn't a direct shot to my feet and only a ricochet, but I'm still traumatized from the situation. That's still bad. It's not as if like one thing is worse than the other. That is still really bad that the guy w resorted to the point where he had to pull out a gun right in order to kind of get you to listen or to or to stop from leaving the car wherever it may be right that's not a good thing but again the other part of the story too she gets shot in the foot then you get back in the car which is maybe it's understandable because you know he maybe he regretted it and was panicking and wanted you to go get back in the car so he could take it to the hospital regardless it just all doesn't really add up there's something fishy about it and it's unfortunate really because Megan Thee Stallion is a really well-liked girl people seem to really like her she seems to have a, a very universal style I'm not necessarily a fan too much of her rapping don't get me wrong I think there's other girls who are probably better on the scene but i think what she represents and how she's so wholesome and how she tends to like not rub people out the wrong way is friends of everybody in the scene i think it's quite she plays an important role in, in female hip-hop especially because they're always pitting people up against each other she plays a really important role in being a really uh front-facing bigger big personality person but also being cool with a lot of people right she sort of plays like the french montana role in if you're hip-hop which i think you need to have somebody that's able to kind of keep keep the keep the peace to some level of degree just so you know they can they, just so you guys can make money and create hits for the most part but again unfortunate state of affairs um going on and another development is that los angeles times has basically echoed some of these doubts that people have online by publishing this story that the district attorney is reviewing possible charges um, in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting case. So said the following. It says, the DA reviewing possible charges in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting case. It's released, I think, yesterday, right? It says, Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office revealed Wednesday that it was reviewed potential charge of a felony assault with a firearm in the case in which a rapper Megan Thee Stallion said she was shot. 
The investigation involves recording artist Tori Lane, who was arrested after Stallion alleged that she was shot in her feet last month outside Hollywood Hills. Prosecutors said they were reviewing the case and had asked the Los Angeles Police Department to further investigate the incident. Lane was arrested on suspicion of carrying a concealed weapon after he was detained, leaving the area before dawn on July 12th in a vehicle that eyewitness said may have been connected to reports of a shooting. An attorney of Lane's could not immediately be reached for comment. Stallion on Wednesday posted and then deleted the image of an Instagram that she showed the result of her being shot and when she walked away she's a wild lie being shot blah 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 she never publicly identified the shooter which obviously is admirable i think we should give her a lot of credit for that if she is but again it's strange right it's really bizarre that a female rapper of her notoriety of her stature who's essentially like a pop female rapper rapper sorry would would kind of um would kind of resort to this level of street codeness like it don't really it doesn't really make any sense unless she perp, unless she's actually looking out for Tory Lanez and doesn't want him to get in that much trouble and thinks that maybe it went the situation got out of hand and both parties were to blame. But she did essentially throw him under the bus with some of the statements she put out and the videos she she put out. Um, the fact that she didn't you know um somebody who did this to intention to harm me blah 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 blah, which essentially you know has effectively killed his career if the allegations are not proved to be false. Uh, but I don't know what you can read into that. Maybe she's just incorporated the police. Who knows. He continues, said, according to Ricardo Santiago, a district attorney spokesman, the LAPD presented an investigation for friendly assault with a semi-automatic firearm and personal use of a firearm to the office on July 24th. Prosecutors asked law enforcement for a further investigation before making a final decision. Such referrals are common in high investigation uh, investigations where prosecutors want more details before making a decision on whether they can prove beyond reasonable doubt, which is an interesting one, right? Like, they don't even know if that actually happened. Did she actually legitimately get shot in the foot or was it a ricochet? No one knows. Lanes, 27, his real name is Daystar Peterson, was arrested on July 12th by the LAPD at the scene of at least a $35,000 bond. Joe record show. Uh, for the second time in a month, Stanley on Wednesday has used a social media account to defend herself against suggestions that she was not injured during the shooting. Initial LAPD account makes no mention of the artist being struck by a gunfire and refers only to her suffering a foot injury. Now, is that because she refused to get medical attention with the police present and she went with her own team. Is that because police are not in a place to ascertain if someone got a gunshot wound, right? Is that like a medical thing that they have to... It's like a, it's like a death certificate, right? You can only get that if you your body's been at the morgue, right? I don't think... Can they pronounce you dead on the scene? I guess they can, right? Uh, or maybe a medical professional has to do that. I'm not too sure. Um, it goes on to say... Well, uh, that's a quote from Instagram. It says here, on the night of July... And on on that night in July, LA police officers swarmed the home in uh in the eighteen thousand block of Nichols Canyon at four thirty AM after receiving the report of gunfire. According to LAPD, witnesses on the incident provided a description of a suspect and their vehicle. Officers stopped the vehicle, matching the description, detained multiple people and eventually arrested Lanes, according to a statement. But again, no mention of Kylie Jenner. That's the level of celebrity I want to get on right such a tragic and messy situation happens and you are nowhere to be found in any of the statements in a video of the aftermath both lanes and stalin can be seen in handcuffs as officers try to determine what happened in a statement on wednesday the lapd said one person was taken to hospital with a foot injury again no mention of gunshots is it glass is it whatever we don't know two sources familiar with the investigation said stalin was displaying an injury at the scene consistent with being struck by shattered glass which is not being shot in both foot that's the issue right and again why would she lie that's the issue like why would she lie if this is already bad right if he shot the window in her direction as she was running away from the car that's still a bad story regardless it involves a gun it involves a female you're always going to look bad in the situation making sense is always going to look good like that's excessive use of force it's unnecessary not needed whatsoever no place in relationship blah 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 all those words to make you people think that i'm not a bad person but come on man Getting shot and having shattered glass all over your foot isn't the same thing. Um, in the aftermath, Stallion, whose real name is Megan Pete, posted on Instagram that the narrative has been reported on Sunday's morning events are inaccurate. On Sunday morning, I suffered a gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with intentions to physically harm me. Um, she said she just uh, somebody said she said I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to hospital where I underwent surgery to remove the bullets. I'm incredibly grateful for, to be alive and I'm expected to make a full recovery. But it's important for me to clarify the details. <sighs> Sources familiar with the investigation who ask anonymity because they do not authorize to discuss it said the gun discharge was reckless and the round fire may have been deflected and shrapnel likely hit the rapper, which is not being shot in the foot. Reckless, okay. He might have been toting the gun aggressively, shouting things at her, blah blah, whatever. We don't know the details of the argument. That's not the problem here. People argue, couples get in arguments. 
it's just when you try and paint it as one thing when it clearly wasn't that and it's going to affect somebody's career in the long term it's just not cool is it really especially if it didn't happen that way because again the actual story is bad enough as it is he could still get cancelled legitimately even if he waved around the gun the safety accidentally slipped and then a bullet came out of the chamber bang 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 shrapnel hit both her feet that's still bad enough but to suggest that he was arguing with you told you to f shut the fuck up and then shot you in both feet but then suddenly you're in a club and you've got what a bandage on your foot it looks like you sprained your ankle and then we've seen the wounds and it looks like shrapnel it looks like glass don't get me wrong it looks painful still i'm imagining getting cut on your foot isn't enjoyable i've got a few cuts on my feet from riding bikes and skateboarding and stuff it's not it's not a fun time to be especially if you're playing football as well back in the day getting people stepping on your toes right it's not fun um those wounds kind of open up quite often especially if you're walking around often but being shot in the having shrapnel hit your foot and being shot in the foot are two different things and again it's unfortunate that you know this this has to be played out this way and people have to speculate and be you know turned into bloody medical professionals and analyze her foot injury and stuff but she essentially did this to herself and she just would have been honest from the beginning and just maybe said the story as was as is or maybe it's a con or maybe it's a consequence of her success she's so popular that she just can't come out and say stuff like that that's an issue as well right she has to um run it by her team her publicist her manager her agent um the sponsor she's got a, what it doesn't she have like a makeup thing coming up soon right um wap was obviously on the books already prior to that shooting loads of things in the works so she couldn't really mess up so that again which is a horrible situation to be in right you get shot and the first thing you think about is your number one record that's that's coming up that's a madness isn't it but that, that again that is the gift and the curse of being a number one rapper in the scene isn't it really so be careful for what you wish for but again wonder what you think what let me know in the comments down below what do you reckon do you reckon she's lying do you think she's embellished the story do you think people are, are being unnecessarily critical and mean to her and asking a question that she really shouldn't have to answer um should tory lanes be cancelled do you do anything wrong where's kylie jenner in this story <laughs> let me know in the comments down below let me know in the comments down below